Earlier this morning, I had the opportunity to meet with Bino Wallace, our local bodybuilding guru and promoter of the Knox Classic each year here in town as well. He'd offered to help me out with some posing work and being five and a half weeks out from my show and more than a little rusty on my posing, I was happy to take him up on that offer. So I mic'd us both up, set up a few cameras and what you're about to see are the results from that posing session. So you can see the kind of things that somebody who really knows what they're doing can help somebody else figure out who kind of knows what they're doing but is just a little bit rusty and needs to put in a little bit more practice as well so i'm gonna start with like the basics yeah i know you know how to pose <clears throat> but i'm doing nothing i'm yeah exactly so let's just start from there the thing that i try to teach the most is anytime you do any pose there's two things start from the floor up and the second one is every pose is a most muscular pose Interesting, okay. So you wanna make sure, I don't care what pose you do, you're hitting is every fiber in your body that you can. A lot the of people- judges can see it. Yeah, well, and not just that, but if you think about when you're doing, say, a side chest, uh, there, you've seen a lot of guys, they'll set their feet, but they won't stay into the pose with their legs. They'll okay. let it go, then they'll hit that side chest. Right. From the rear, it's the worst. A lot of guys will turn, They'll hit this pose, they'll get all comfortable, and then they'll relax and then go into their front or rear double bicep. Mm -hmm. So those are two of the key things that I try to preach out the gate. Start from the floor up, and every pose is a most muscular pose, okay? okay? So let's start with your front quarter. Good. Turn your toes out just to flare, there you go. Because I want to get as much of that sweep as we can. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah, chest high, exhale. Good, quarter turn to your right. Okay, what I would like for you to do here is your left toe, left front toe, go out just a little bit more in front of you. No, in front of you, there you go, just like that. Exhale, okay. Now squeeze down on this, this outside tricep a little bit more. There you go. So when you look back at this, I want you to notice you got more of a horseshoe when you flare that wrist out just a little bit more, okay. and you're a little bit tighter, but remember what I'm saying, every pose is a most muscular pose. So when you're in this, you wanna squeeze there. Yep, there you go. Squeeze down on that tricep again, there you go. Quarter turn and face the rear. Okay, so I want you to over-exaggerate your feet a little bit more, so yep, there you go. And then push those knees as hard as you can, yes. Quarter turn to your right. Take that outside shoulder down a little bit more. Nope, no, 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 outside. There you go. Good. Good. Quarter turn, face the front. Set a front double biceps. Remember, from the ground up. Good. Now, what I want you to do is bring those hands apart just a little bit more. There you go. And then twist back as hard as you can. Good. So what I want you to notice there, go back, go, relax. Start the pose over again. Now watch the peak of your biceps. When you twist back, yeah. it makes them peak higher, okay? Perfect. Relax. Front lat spread. Good, that, good job, you caught your leg, good job. Control your breathing. Relax, side chest either side. Good, turn that heel out towards me just a little bit, but there you go. What that's gonna do again, I'm trying to show all the muscle that we can. Squeeze here as hard as you can. Good, bring that shoulder down just a tad more. There you go. Now, can you turn your waist just a tad more? There you go, good. That's a great pose for you. Relax, side tricep either side. Awesome. So another little trick of the trade, again, just trying to show as much, mo as much mu muscle as you can. Take this shoulder and push against that chest. Oh, yeah. See that? So it just brings out just a tad bit Makes more. Makes a difference. 
There you go, control your breathing. Relax, turn and face the rear with one calf extended, a rear double bicep. Okay, relax. I'm gonna change this up just a tad where your foot position is, okay? So you've got good legs compared to most, okay? So you need to show that shape a little bit more. So I want you to step back more instead of out. Okay. Step back, twist that knee like this. And that's also gonna make you want to engage your glute. Oh yeah, it does. There you go, now sit, sit down just there, yeah, there, there you go, this. Go back up, go back up, yes. <laughs> Balance. Yes, but once you get that, and once you see this footage, you're gonna see how much more your hamstring just popped just then. Good, now, now make sure you twist back as hard as you can, there you go. That brings up those, good, 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 relax. With one calf extended, let's do a rear lat spread. Same thing with the feet, you think? Yes, sir. Hamstring, hamstring. That's it. Pop that glute, good. Good, good, good. Bring your right shoulder up. Right shoulder up, there you go. Relax, turn and face the, face the front with one leg extended, abdominal and thigh. Quad, quad, quad. Lock that knee. There you go. There you go, good. Control your breathing. Excellent, relax. Let's see your favorite most muscular pose. Thighs, thighs, thighs. Good, just give us good crab too. That's it, relax. Good. I mean, you're, I'm talking about just small fundamentals that I can tell. Your posing is pretty good compared to what I've seen. So I think, I think we just need to polish okay. and, and add these few little things in. I've so, done very little posing practice in the last two years, so. <laughs> and it, it, dude, I get it. It kind of shows with conditioning. And your breathing. Yeah. And, so you're just gonna have to just pose, 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 like four pose. Four or five times a week. And while you're training, pose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Who, who gives a flying butt's rat, or rat's <laughs> butt about? Who cares? Don't matter. It's only gonna make you look better on stage. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right, so let's pull back in the front quarter again. <clears throat> quarter turn to your right. That's it, squeeze down on that tricep, yes. Quarter turn to right, face the rear. Right shoulder up. Quarter turn to your right. Put that outside shoulder down. Quarter turn face to front. Front double bicep. <clears throat> Twist those wrists back. That's it. Can you give me just a little bit more way? There you go. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Look how much those peaks are popping up there. Relax. Front lat spread. Relax. Side chest to either side. Good job. Yeah, take that shoulder down there. Just try to stay as square as you can. Relax, side tricep, either side. Outside shoulder push, that's it. Relax, turn and face the rear. With one calf extended, a rear double bicep. That's it, use those legs to your advantage, man. Relax, with one calf extended, a rear lat spread. Relax, turn and face the front, with one leg extended, abdominal and thigh.
Relax. Let's see your favorite most muscular pose. That's a really good pose for you, man. Not many people can pull that off, but you, it's, a, it's a good pose. Cause you got just enough room here to show your, your waist. And then you're good, you got good caps on your shoulders. This used to be that pose where I hit it and nothing would happen. Really? Well, it's working for you now. Let's see a good crab. Oh yeah, good. That's, that's for the pose down anyway. Yeah. So when you go into the overall. <laughs> you look really good, dude. You're flatter today. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. How many weeks? Five and a half. Mm. These legs need to get a lot sharper. Upper body's okay, a little soft. You doing any weeks. massage? No. Should, on your, especially on your thighs. Mm -hmm. um, if you know someone that can really get in there and, do. and push, I would start that now. Uh, just so you can start getting more separation in there and get okay. all those fluids out of there. Yeah. Um, I have she's hard to schedule, but I can reach out. If you can, I would. Yeah. And then I know you drink a lot of water, so. A good bit, yeah. The more you take in right now, especially when you get these massages done, that way your body doesn't hold on to the toxins mm -hmm. and it releases them much faster, which you know all that. But, yeah. and, and don't think I'm talking over you, because I know you know a lot. No, I mean that's... But I'm just trying to give you Make no assumptions. Okay. All right. All right. It's like, you know, you know you're on a diet. Right? Yeah. yeah. So we're yeah. trying to restrict your intake. Yeah. Yeah. Are you doing any cardio? Yeah. 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 Um, from a judge's perspective, how much of an issue do you think this hernia is? I mean, it's gonna it's gonna show. It's gonna yeah. be there. But honestly, I mean, dude, condition is condition is condition. Yeah. So if everyone has a flaw. Everyone has one leg larger than the other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I there's a guy that shows up looking exactly like me and he doesn't have this. No. It, 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 if it came down to that, I'd be shocked. Right. And the good thing about you, you've got a fairly good balance from head to toe. Yeah. You're not. I'd, I'd love it if the legs were bigger. Of but, course, of yeah. course. But you're not off. Right. Like you and I have both seen, you know, people that are just like, wow, dude, your legs just don't match your arms. You know what those notes are going to be. Yeah. 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 But from a from a aesthetic pr proportional look to you, you're very balanced cool thank you and and but you're doing a good job by like when you're in your front quarter and you're here you're pushing those thighs out to make it match yeah you know what i'm saying yeah and it's it you know as well as i do this is an illusion sport 100 percent. as long as you're smallest you need to look your biggest exactly yeah. and you do <laughs> that's the other key to it i mean you walk across the gym right now everybody's like dude that guy's jack yeah. well yeah I'm 35 pounds down from where I started. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So. Um, so I was 211 and change this morning, so I've only got another two pounds to go to hit the cap, but I'm thinking I probably need to be like 202, 204, or something in that range, because 209 is the cap for me. Right, well, but dude, you still got five and a half weeks. Yeah, I wouldn't go I'm just not gonna be content, like, yeah, we're under the cap, great. Yeah. So like, I gotta keep pushing, because these things need to come in more. Um, the upper body's close, the back needs to be leaner, but I still got stuff here. Yeah. So there's plenty, plenty to go around still. Hey, what's up? Going? It's good. It's good. Let's show her some poses here. Yeah. Get up in here. You're on camera, by the way. Yeah. There, there. Smile. <laughs> Say cheese, pumpkin. <laughs> Quarter turn to your right. Squeeze the tricep. Quarter turn to your right, face the rear. Remember, exaggerate those toes because you want those right. thighs popping. Right shoulder up. Quarter turn to your right. Right shoulder up needs to be my new tattoo. Yep. Drop that outside shoulder a little bit. There you go. Push. Good. Quarter turn, face the front. Let's see a front double bicep. There you go. Pull it back just a little bit. Good. Relax, front last breath. Good, stay on those legs. Relax, side chest either side.
relax side tricep either side. Outside shoulder push, good. So I'm trying to teach him to take that outside shoulder push here too, because I want to bring out as much muscle on every pose. And that's what I was telling him to give me. Relax, turn and face the rear. With one calf extended, a rear double bicep. There you go. Bend that knee just a little bit more. Push through the glutes and the hams, there. Spike your calf a little bit more, there. Relax, with one calf extended, a rear lat spread. Sit down, there, good. Keep that ham, yes. Relax, turn and face the front. One leg extended, abdominal and thigh. Right now I want you to lock that because you're showing much more muscularity there. There you go, good. Relax, see your favorite most muscular pose. Good, relax, good job. So again, I think massage is gonna help you a ton on those legs, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> They're just watery, They're definitely just very watery. When did you train legs last? Yesterday. Oh, well, there you go. They're still sore shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's part of your problem. Yeah. So I'd like to see you pre-leg day to okay. see what your thighs look like. Yeah. Because I can only imagine you're just full, you're still full of lactic acid. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, are you up in your aminos and glutamines and everything right no, now? No, I'm not taking any. Probably should. Okay. Because you're probably going to start building more like, just for reference for me, I, I always built more lactic acid the closer I got to the show. Okay. And I don't know why, <laughs> but I would retain a lot of water, so I would bump my glutamine and my branch chains up. Well, it's good if you're retaining lactic acid, that means that your training intensity is still where it needs yeah. to be. So. And, but I always... I stayed in my training all the way up to the show. Yeah. And I'm talking high volume heavy. Well, this is good because my intensity stayed really high throughout the whole prep. And last time in 21, like the last 10 weeks, every workout was just shit. And like you could see when I got up on stage. Yeah. It's like, wow, I had a good workout in a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good look. But, but yeah, exactly, because you probably were losing tissue. Yeah. Because you weren't training. Well, it was too big of a deficit and too, too much volume for me. Yeah. I just couldn't take it. So. Um, yeah. Do you think you're like your calories are too low too? And yeah, calories are too low, and my coach had me doing a cheat meal every week, so I'd blow my deficit there, and then have to be like low calorie for the next six and a half days. Oh yeah, that's not. And so here I haven't had a cheat meal this whole prep basically. Yeah. So, but my daily calories have stayed a little bit higher, so training performance has been better. When you do a cheat, what do you normally have? What is your cheat? Well, that that prep it was five guys. Okay. This prep it's been nothing. Okay. I did have like. A chicken sandwich and fries out one time when I was just like tanked. It was on a Friday and it was like it was a high day anyway. Yeah. I'm like, I gotta get something. But as you know, I mean you I'd rather you have something as opposed to nothing. Yeah, so right now like I've even eliminated my high carb days until I feel like I need one. Like as long as my performance is good and I'm not like dragging ass all day long, I'm like, I'll, I'll just suck it up and deal with it. So are you hanging at all with your weight? Like are you trying to meet like a pound and a half a week or anything like that? No. I'm more, you know, I got to hit the cap and I just want to make sure I'm seeing visual changes. Yeah. Other than that, at this point, like my rate of loss per week, I'm not sweating too much. Okay. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm you're in shape. I'm just not obsessing over it. You're in shape. I would love to see you after a good cheat meal though. Okay. Yeah. And I'm talking, I'm talking like a real one. My guy, like when I would coach guys, I would give them one hour to eat whatever <laughs> and as much as they wanted. Yeah. But they still had to get the rest of their meals <clears> in. So they would substitute that one meal. Yeah. So I would like on a, especially towards, the, you know, four or five weeks out where you are, I would have them do more fish that day mm -hmm. and greens and then have that large cheat. Okay. And then back down fishing. So greens. still hitting the macros largely, but just like lighter volume. Yep. Okay. Yep. At least you're eating things that your body's going to metabolize yeah. faster. So when you do get to that cheat meal, you're going to be hungry. Yeah. You still eat and then you can still achieve that last meal or whatever that yeah. you have scheduled through the day. All right. 
you heard the man, cheap meal time. So uh, as of right now, today is April 30th, tomorrow, Wednesday, May 1st, I'm flying out to Oregon for a week. So the next time I see Bino is gonna be in like a week and a half at the absolute earliest. But the plan will be to get that scheduled and then I'm gonna do a cheat meal the night before so he can see me in the morning and kind of simulate like a day before show carb up and load and see how that looks. So stay tuned for that, probably record that and post that as well. So thank you all for watching. Any questions or comments you have on anything posing related, anything prep related, drop them down below. I'll be watching those and happy to answer anything you got.